Welcome to Key Concept 5, Observing and Collecting Data on Value Streams. What is a Value Stream Map, or VSM? Simply defined, a VSM is a flowchart or process map with important metrics or measures, such as time, number of defects, outputs, delays, money, of the performance included. A VSM can be a view of a process from 10,000 feet, 1,000 feet, 1 foot, or from inches. From whatever view selected, the next step is to identify all major activities as either value adding or non-value adding. For many standard processes, well-established process steps and metrics or performance standards may already exist, creating an established baseline for performance. Tact, tact time is a calculation that compares the time available to do work by the customer demand for a product or service. The term tact is derived from the German word taxit, which translates to the cycle time or pace at which the process steps are completed. Over time, process conditions may change and inconsistencies or problems with metrics may remain unchanged, treated as norms, or even go noticed and create the as-is established baselines of performance. Observing and collecting data on the value streams is typically one of the initial steps for improvement efforts. You may have heard the quote by W. Edwards Deming, In God we trust, all others bring data. A VSM is important as it identifies current areas of inconsistency or problems with important metrics. The VSM provides a picture or snapshot of the current state or as-is state of the process and provides a basis or springboard for developing a future state map. What we see on the left is a simple illustration of a VSM, with a lower part representing a sawtooth diagram that indicates process metrics. The solid black triangles are a symbol indicating delays. Simple is good. Using Lean Sigma methodologies, it is often suggested that value stream maps be drawn in pencil, on paper no larger than 11 by 17 inches, to promote simplicity and ease of change. The image on the right is a sample VSM form that is often pre-printed and used to help novices through the completion of a VSM and remind them of the various symbols that are commonly used to illustrate communication methods and flow, people involved, process activities, and potential problems. Here you see some common communication transmission symbols that are first inserted in the upper right-hand corner to depict the client person making the initial request, then the other symbols are inserted right to left to reflect the communication handoffs and illustrate the importance of clear and accurate communications and alternative transmission methods. The following are instructions to constructing the value stream map. First, start with the client person making the request in the upper right-hand corner of the VSM form. Next, add all of the ways requests or transmissions are made across the top from right to left. Then, draw the VSM process steps across the center of the page, starting at the left-hand side. Add process steps from left to right and finish with the client person having the request satisfied. Finally, a sawtooth diagram is typically inserted across the bottom section with important metrics including delays and when nothing is happening. Here is an illustration of some of the common value stream symbols that may be used on a map. Next, let's look at some of the additional examples of VSMs. Here is an example of a completed VSM for making toast. And this is an example of a completed VSM for planning a trip to a conference or trade show. Please note the VSM process steps and the storm clouds placed over the travel to and from the hotel, indicating a source of frustration for the traveler. The actual process time totaled 17 hours and 40 minutes, and the wait or delay time totaled 16 hours. However, the most problematic area to focus on as an area for future improvement for this traveler is the wasted time and frustration associated with getting to and from the hotel. The following VSM illustrates the time, days, and sawtooth diagram required by two different organizations to respond to client request for a new program proposal following their current process. Let's look at some common Japanese terms used in Lean. 
As previously indicated, Lean was developed by Toyota and is based on eliminating waste or muda. In addition to the Japanese term muda, there are a number of other Japanese terms commonly used in Lean. These include Miura, a Japanese word that describes unevenness in a process. Miori, a word that refers to overburdening or relying too much on one part of a process. Gemba is Japanese for the actual place or real place, which in the context of lean translates to the place where the actual work or process is in operation and should be observed. Kaizen, Japanese word of continuous improvement. Kanban, a visual system that typically uses cards or stickers to control and alert people when inventories or flow problems occur. And finally, pokyok the Japanese word for mistake-proofing. Let's review. According to common Lean Sigma methodology, it is suggested that value stream maps be drawn in pencil on 11 by 17 inch paper to promote simplicity and ease of change. Common symbols are often used to represent various actions or activities. However, you are free to use other symbols if they work better for you and your organization. Now that you have been introduced to the concept of flowcharting and mapping processes, let's look at the next steps you should take to master this key concept. First, you will have the opportunity to enhance your learning by viewing two videos. The first video is a video about how a value stream map can promote lean. The second is a two minute video that will explain the concept of tact. Then, you can reinforce your learning by using the sample form provided in this module to develop your own value stream map. And finally, you will assess your learning by completing a practice quiz on this key topic.